welcome to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add colors to a product in WooCommerce. This isn't as straightforward as it should be, in my opinion, so I thought I would do a video on it. Now, before we get into the video, I want to remind you it's brought to you by Bluehost. Go to thebreakdown.xyz slash Bluehost. That is the first link down below to get an awesome WordPress website for just $3.95 per month. It's going to come with free SSL, a free domain, and a ton of awesome other stuff, including incredible support and awesome uptime, so go check it out. Again, that's the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Bluehost. Nevertheless, how do you add colors to a product in WooCommerce? Well, I've already got a product set up here. Now, it's got, you know, a description. It's got all that stuff. So basically, you want to go ahead and do this. Enter your product name. Enter your information here, your long description, as I call it. You've got a short description on your site. You can put that in as well, right? That's fine. But nevertheless, once you've done that, how do you add colors to it? Well, you want to come here where it says product data. Right, this is typically, you're gonna enter your price here, inventory, shipping, all of that awesome stuff is gonna be entered right here. Now, what we wanna do is instead of do a simple product, we wanna go down here and click variable product. It's gonna add in some more stuff here. Now, to add colors, all you've gotta do is come down here to attributes, then click the custom product attribute here and hit add, right? Then it's gonna go through and add one of these custom product attributes. Then you wanna title it color because you're adding colors and let's say we're going to do red and then you want to actually do the line up and down to separate your colors that's going to be found over your inner key right and typically where the backslash is you hit shift and hit the backslash and it's going to do the line then we're going to do white make it america white and blue and then we want to save attributes and we actually want to click used for variations as well so we want to click save there so after that saved we can go down here to variations and then we want to click on the add variation button right here here, create variations from all attributes click go. It's going to give us a little warning. We're going to click OK there. And now it's going to bring all of our colors into here. This is where we can make, you know, different changes and things like that. And let's say you had sizes, you would do this the same way as well. But nevertheless, add it in here and we can click this and we actually need to add prices for each of these variations. So do that. You can do manage stock how many is left, all of that awesome stuff. You can do shipping class is the same as parent, or you can do it different. You can do a different weight, different dimensions, all of that awesome stuff. But we just are going to add in prices here, and then we need to save the changes on all of these right like that. And there you go. Colors are added. It's that simple, but it's really difficult at the same time. With products like Shopify, you can just, it easily says colors and stuff like that, but not, not with WooCommerce. They make it a little more complicated on us. So if we go over here to the product page, we'll be able to see that colors are in fact added. As you can see, choose option. Red, white, or blue. Something else worth mentioning, if you want to display the different colors when you click on them, right, display that product in that color, you can simply come down here to that variations tab you were on, and you can add the image of the color right here, right? So if we add in, let's say, this Ferrari, it's red, so boom, and then we add in for white, this Ferrari, because it's white, and then we add in for blue, no blue Ferraris, I'm out of blue Ferraris. This is just random Minecraft screenshot because it has blue in it. Then we click update and then go back to our product page yet again. We will see that now it switches in between them when we click on the color. So let's let this save. All right, this saved back over to the product page here. And once that's loaded up, we'll be able to easily switch in between all of the different colors we have selected. So if we go from white, like no option, right? No image to red shows the red, go to white, shows the white, go to blue, shows the blue. Awesome stuff. There you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome WordPress online business related content nearly every single day. Again, this has been The Breakdown. I am Nick, guys, and I am out. Peace.